According to the late biographer and journalist, Anthony Holden, Ruth, Lady Fermoy was not without her flaws. Or, to put it more frankly, she was, as he put it, the ghastliest woman I've come across in my researches. Whatever else she was, Diana's grandmother was a notably influential figure at court, a friend and confidant of the last Queen Mother, whose outlook had a profound influence on the future Princess of Wales. It has been suggested that Lady Fermoy was among those conniving to bring about a dynastically beneficial but inappropriate marriage between her granddaughter and the future king, although this is something she denied. She certainly took an uncompromising view when her daughter, Frances, left Johnny Spencer and the family home, siding with Spencer, not Francis, and appearing in court to ram the point home. Lady Fermoy was born Ruth Sylvia Gill in October 1908 to wealthy Scottish landowners Colonel William Smith Gill and his wife, Ruth. It is believed that Lady Fermoy had Armenian and Indian heritage. During her youth, Ruth showed early promise as a pianist and studied under renowned French virtuoso and scholar Alfred Corto at the Paris Conservatoire in the 1920s. But her musical career came to a halt when she married the wealthy, and much older, Maurice Roche, 4th Baron Fermoy, on September 17, 1931 at St. Devonix Church in Bealdside, near Aberdeen. Together, Lord and Lady Fermoy had three children, including Francis, later to become Francis Shand Kidd, the mother of Diana, Princess of Wales. Lady Fermoy was known for her fastidious adherence to social rules and was a particularly firm believer in the sanctity of marriage. This was so much so that when Johnny Spencer, then Viscount Althorpe, sued for custody of Diana and her siblings in 1969, the grandmother supported him. Lady Fermoy had left her husband for another man, and Spencer won. Her royal connections began in 1956 when she was appointed extra woman of the bedchamber by the Queen Mother, who had lost her husband just four years before.